In my opinion, social impact investing is to invest in fields and in places whereby it could have a, a direct and meaningful contribution to societies or humanity in general. And it can be sustainable. So it has to carry both hats, the hat of a business, sustainable business, and a hat of adding value to communities. And adding value is, is, a, is, a, is a white definition and, and terminology and could be in many, in many aspects, in many fields. That is what to me is impact investing. The aspect of, of a social need, meaning there is a either a a problem or a desire or a demand. This goes in line with the basic idea of demand and supply. Question is, how would you get into understanding what, what societies or humanity do, do need and developing something around that and make it sustainable? And, and and that is, is not really far away from what a normal business line of thinking is, is about. And many institutions, and I would guess many more specifically family businesses, have that in their DNA because they are part of a community and they care about their, uh, their, their uh, social status and their and their integration with their society and they live among the society so they understand well or better in, in a way their needs and their uh, and, and their desires so uh, my short answer is there i don't see much of a difference between social impact investing and actual business it's just what is the starting point and in this case the starting point is what the society needs and desires I believe needs and desires change as you progress. So I need a desire in a, in, a, in a less privileged country could be as simple as can you provide a sustainable mean for you to provide lighting for safety at, at, in nights in campuses, a sustainable way for you to provide a minimum wage. But in, in other societies, like for example a society in here, is there a, an easier way to provide care for elderly uh, in, in their homes? Is there an, a way to provide support for, for a, a mental well-being, for example? So, so different societies in their different evolution and different state and, and status have different needs and desires. So in the, with impact investing, it is different from a society to another. And a mix of that is always good, as long as it can be sustainable. And sustainability then becomes a factor on where are you best fitted to provide, to do social impact investing. In, 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 in my case, for example, I'm highly vested in, in the region. I think the best way for me to provide positive impact in a, a sustainable way, in a way that I could understand the needs and the desires of society is, is within my, my region for the time being. Up until I could have a, a, uh, an, an extended network so that we can, I can provide support to, to other agencies or to, to other regions and other societies. Yeah. I think the objective of I mean, social impact investing is a, is a wider theme than charitable and, and, and ch 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 charitable investment. I think charities and, and social agencies are just one piece of the whole ecosystem of social impacting. And I, and I would believe and I would guess that many businesses that focus on social impact investing would have an angle, a charitable angle to them. To, to, to support charities in general. Um, in many cases that I've been involved with, whereby on the one side we are providing uh, health support, healthcare support to, to underprivileged or less privileged people. On the other hand, we are helping charities pay for their expenses. 
So it's so it's many instances they are interlinked, but they are not exclusive to each other. This is what I want to to say. I think people differ in this aspect, and probably businesses also. Um, question is, do you care for adding value to individuals' life in a big way, or do you care that you provi provide little value but to many, many people? So the way I function is in doing social impact investing, I try to go for the mass rather than for the quality for a smaller amount of people. So small difference, but big uh, in, in a big scale. Um, and I think many of the ideas that I've implemented, especially in the healthcare sector, and many ideas that I'm, you know, I'm actively actually uh, establishing now as we speak, are meant to attend to a wide audience and enhance their quality of life at least a little bit. So, so it's measurable, it's wide in impact, and it attends to the widest possible uh, category or, or, uh, or division of, of society, basically. So for example, uh, you know, currently I'm highly focusing on students with minor special education needs. Now, these people are a substantial amount of students in a normal school. Those would be anywhere between 12 and 18 percent of students of any school would have a need. That kind of need puts a lot of pressure on their parents because it could cost them a, a tremendous amount of money, anywhere between 130,000 dirhams to, to 750 or a million dirham annually. Um, and with a lot of stress and with a lot of failures and I will, so, so my hope is that how can I make that a bit better and make it easier for their parents to, 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 attend, to the, attend to them actually. So I'm trying to reduce the cost from anywhere between around 130 to, to maybe 75 or 80,000 annually. So that's a target. Now how can we do that? How can we take away the, the stress? How can we make sure that you know, they get the right diagnostics? How can we make sure that they get the right early intervention? How can we fix the relationship between the education side of the equation and the, and the health side of the equation, the medical side of the equation? How can we bring in the gap so that at the end, the, we, we get uh, students living a, a better, educational experience so that they could eventually result to be better value-adding citizens and reduce the pressure on the parents to a certain degree at least. So just small impact but wide audience. So that's, that's one idea. Uh, another idea is that I'm in home nursing and I, and I care for elderly's well-being. And a lot of that is about education. So how can you educate the family around the elderly to care for the elderly, not only from a health point of view, but also mentally and you know, lifestyle and entertainment and all of that. All of that is education. So educating them even just a little bit of education would result in good impact on a wide range of elderlies within the society. So these are the, the thoughts that I am currently uh, passionate about and continue to be passionate about. I think it will, it will go to the betterment. So there's a lot of awareness that's going around now about a lot of issues within society. And I think the government in UAE is doing a fantastic job in providing that kind of education. You know, education as with regards to the importance of reading education with regards to the importance of well-being, uh, taking care of one's health, students' well-being, violence at home, violence with, with, with minors. So all of these awareness campaigns and, and initiatives that are driven by the country adds 
it brings people to to be uh, to to be more knowledgeable about different social issues and challenges or desires uh, for many businesses to to try and develop solutions and products and services that will attend to these issues in a sustainable way and provide better quality of life in general to the society i think i think social investing uh, impact, uh, uh, social impact investing is going to only grow moving forward, at least in, in countries the likes of, 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 of UAE, and definitely in the UAE. And it, is, it goes in line with business common sense. You would want to solve a, 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 solu a, a problem within society. That is the best way to do business, actually. So uh, both of them go hand in hand. I think family businesses will make a lot of use of that. And why not? I mean, it's a good thing. Let me say it in a funny way. And it's actually a statement that I have. So once I was advocating a, a social impact investment onto a, a businessman, and he said, look, if you're gonna make me money and take me to heaven, why not? <laughs> so, so you have to bring in sense. You, ha you have to marry both ideas together, which is sustainable business, ideas and social impacting, bringing them together. And a lot of people like that mix, and especially family businesses, because they have their social attachment. So why not? I mean, uh, yeah, I think this will keep growing. And I think we'll, people will would want to do more and more of that.